you know, the amphitheater really was uh, a crucial part of the campus and also of the community as well. Uh, since 1963, uh, it has had many gatherings of many celebrities, but also very important historical events, uh, important both to California and to the U.S. and to the world. We have these iconic, iconic uh, events, right? Santana was here three times. <laughs> Prince was here in 1985. <laughs> That's another one, right? Um, uh, B.B. King was also here in 1985. A lot of these events then uh, come about because of vintage days on the one hand, but also because the students uh, organized them and then wanted them on campus as well. The Friday prior to graduation, um, we would then hood the masters and the PhDs in the amphitheater. Um, and also the Chicano Latino uh, commencement uh, held their, um, uh, their ceremonies there for, for a really long time as well, from 1980 to 1994. The capacity of it was, was uh, 5,000 people, um, but, but it, was not, it was not the most comfortable seating, right? Um, now people want to be air conditioned because of the summer, right? Uh, they want to be in a, in a place where it's where it's comfortable with chairs and everything else. It it became prohibitively expensive. That, that's really the bottom line. Uh, it was a facility that, at its time and it, in its moment, it was exactly right for the time and place. We've kept, you know, the original signage of the amphitheater, right? That, that that those blocked letters that that you know that that was at the end that were at the entrance, and and we're we're going to keep those and we're going to really honor that you know in the new student center as well.